morning guys so um this video basically about the youtubers that's coming for me on my page and telling people that i don't listen to them or i don't um they try to help me repatriate and i didn't want their help or their advice or so on and so forth so basically you got these groups on facebook and um youtube and whatsapp and these people are supposed to help you repatriate um, but really, basically, all they're trying to do is get money. It's about commission and um, money for them. And they still Ghanaians. And you got to be watchful and mindful and careful of buying things out here and buying things online or sending money to people online that you don't know. So meeting these people in these groups, they send me land and they send me um all these uh, pictures and videos of houses and stuff and they want me to buy and rent from them and send them the money so it could be ready when I get here and I just refused to do that because I didn't know these people and it wasn't up to my nobody could get it right like everybody I talk to I'm telling the six of us I got a big family I want a big house I want a big space even if I have to rent first I'd rather be comfortable because if I because when you rent out here, you pay up to a year, sometimes two years. This is depending on what the landlord asks for. So it's not like in the States where you pay month to month or you can get some type of temporary lease where you're paying for six months or four months or three months or something. Most most of them, majority of them want two, one year or two years. So if I'm going to be somewhere for one year, it needs to be comfortable for me because I'm going to be miserable, just like when y'all seen that video where I was like, oh my God, it's, it's lizards in the bed with me and uh, no hot water, none of that. I didn't know all that until the next day. So you look at a house on the surface and you be like, oh, this house is beautiful. I like this. I can do this. And then you get in there and reality hits you and you like hold up nah i don't know about this one so i don't want to be stuck in a place for a year or two years and then i'm like miserable as hell and i've already given my money to the landlord so i wanted to be careful and i've always was taught that if you want something done right you gotta do it yourself so i came all the way out here saying okay i'll find my own house since they can't get it right so we got a couple different youtubers that's trying to put me on blast they all in my comments they all on my um, page and they even doing videos about me how they try to help me and i wasn't uh, um complying and um they try to send me stuff and i never listened to them and all that and another thing i want to tell y'all it's a lot of people hands in the cookie jar the moment that you don't listen to them or when they give you advice or they give you something if you don't like it or you don't listen or it's not suitable for you they don't want to talk to you no more they want to get rid of you. They, they don't want to be your friends no more. So I lost a lot of people because I didn't get the place that they wanted me to get or the land that they wanted me to get. So we're going to first start off with uh, You Sort World. You Sort World is a YouTuber that helped people repatriate. He sell le uh, land and he sell, um, he sell land and he was helping me in temporary housing. And I told him I didn't want it. And then the, um, the thing is, after he showed me some things that I didn't like, I said, well, just give me a place that's more expensive because I figured that they don't understand um, the, qual the quality of my living that I want. So I said, okay, well, give me an expensive place instead of um, the place that you give me. So um, I had to tell all of them that. So they give me, it's, it's, it's no in-betweens. It's either a real bad place was a real expensive place no in-betweens so i was just like okay i'll come out here and do it myself so i'm gonna get into the video i'm gonna roll this video so y'all can see um basically what i was looking forward to staying in working with you so world and what he was trying to sell me as well okay so this is the facility this is for the academy Okay, and then so the one inside there is what will be letting it out to us. Okay, but I'm actually in talks with him. So uh, hello, yes there. And there's a gym, gym in front of this one. Yeah, so you want a gym and stuff. 
okay and then um, there's the pitch the astro yes yeah, so this is the facility this this very one yeah, so you could get a room um, single room self contain in there your porch and, and all that yeah, so that's it okay so this is how the facility looks like Three in one. Two in a room. room. Okay, so it's, it's a two in a room. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Jahan Naden. Uh -huh. Not actual or, or rental or sale, but or chef freehold now or the market forever. Nipan very any. And my window in first house. Eh, first house is there. So this is the house that um, we'll be using for to host you. Okay. The house. Okay. The chimney is here. To hotel or that space will cry. Want to do some of that things. Okay. Okay. So um. It's a good afternoon here in Ghana, and I trust you all are doing good. Um, it's, it's just to inform you that uh, once there's an opportunity, I mean, I, when we, we hadn't um, finalized on on the negotiation with the chiefs to get this line, um, this, this acres of land, most of you showed up interested. And now we are done with the negotiation, and we've gone for the best deal. Um, so we're looking forward that you come on board to to have the lands, but nobody is showing off um, forth yet, and it's it's an opportunity where it's a hot peak area. People people want it. Actually, it's not that is not the actual price they were supposed to give us. It was five thousand dollars, and we negotiated to have it four thousand, and that we are paying um, in two installments. So it's a great opportunity, and so. If if we wait longer, if we don't show up, you know, it means it's going to be um, um, occupied by some other people. Either we we get it um, higher, or you know, we get we don't get the area at all because a lot of people are running in. So let's 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 act than sitting on the fences. I see this as a clear opportunity, and and you know, together my company wanted to do this to help. But if our efforts are like um, you know, it's going to take you to that or sort of not ready. It means we don't act at all. We shouldn't act. We shouldn't waste that time to, to add because as of now, we are as well arranging with other um, um, chiefs and, and other areas to get it so that, um, you know, as many as of you would come would have a place, you know, uh, you would have a place, that's it. Okay, so as you've seen in the video, um, it's six of us. There's no way in the world I'm going to come to a foreign country. No way in the world I'm going to come to a foreign country and have my kids separated from me in other bedrooms. And we live in, we in a big building, in somebody's big apartment building. And they got their own room. I got my own room. And my other two kids had their own because it's six of us, so we would have had to split. Th we would have had to go into three rooms, so we had to split it up. I got babies. I can't split my babies up. He said two to a room, and the room had one twin bed and with no mattress. So as y'all see, then I have got, I have an assistant here that goes around and looks for land and stuff for me. So if somebody want to sell me something, he'll go and verify and make sure it's legit for me. So. When um, you saw World had an um, a event or whatever they was doing where they were selling this land. And um, I forget where the land was at. It wasn't in Elmina. 
it, they were selling this land, however, and I asked them how far was it from um, Accra because I knew Accra is the main hub, so that would be where I got off the plane at. So I know I have to travel from Accra to there. So I asked him, and he said it was about 45 minutes away. I said, okay, that's not bad because I'm 45 minutes from Atlanta's airport, so I should be good. So basically, um, I had my assistant go and look for look at the land for me and he told me it took him three hours to get there so it was way out the way and he said you really don't want this location because it's nothing it's a rural area so it's nothing out there no stores no nowhere to set up shop and open up your business and uh, and you know um make money out there so look at these fools they just go all through the cars and stuff look this thing just go ahead and wash the car without even asking so, um, so basically, I'm fine. I'm fine. Mm -mm. I'm good. <laughs> what? He said you want to speak? Huh? Oh, he said he want to say something. Maybe this time he be like, where did my dad? Oh, that that is nice. Oh, it'd be nice. Yeah. Yeah. It is from 37. 37 seaters? Yeah. I don't have them right now. Oh, it is a medical. I'll give you one. Huh? Medical. The price is 35. Oh, so it's a mosquito. No, no, I'm good. I'm not gonna buy enough for today. Buy you want one? No. Maybe next time. Yes. Madasi. Oh, he got an amigo shirt on. Ain't that me goes? Mm-hmm. So you can roll the window back. Okay. So basically, um, my assistant went out there and he said that it was way far out there. And he was like, You you don't want this place because it's too far. And they were selling the land for I think like one plot was four thousand dollars and you put two thousand dollars down and pay the other two thousand dollars when you come or whatever and um four thousand dollars is not a lot of money that's a good amount for a plot but if it's too far out there somewhere i'm i'm not gonna be able to use it anyway so that's what happened with us and then when i came out here i just came out there to look for my own stuff so he's upset with me so he kicked me out the group um, he went on me on my Facebook page. He has been email, uh, saying stuff on my YouTube page under my comments, talking about how he tried to help me and I didn't take the help. So now he don't want nothing to do with me. Um, just because I didn't take the place he wanted me to take. Okay. So the second one was Fable TV. So that's another YouTuber that, um, I, I, reached out to and asked can I buy some land from I mean not not land no matter of fact I did ask him about land and properties so I told him that I wanted a six bedroom seven bedroom I want a big house and so I told him I didn't want to live in a car I wanted to live somewhere further out like uh, Cape Coast or Elmina or Kumasi so he found me a couple places and all the places he found me was way too expensive for what I was getting. So you gotta make sure that your money and your product matches. Because there should be no way or no reason why I come here and pay eight hundred or seven hundred thousand dollars for a six bedroom house. Um I think that they really overpriced in the houses and then when I go on the page I see a lot of people saying oh these houses are way too overpriced you would never pay nothing like that here and I get it it's not America but you you still want you still want your money to stretch and that just wasn't going to work for me so I didn't um, get his property and then he had some land for sale on the beach because I wanted some beach property the land is the it's kind of like the hardest one to buy because you don't know who that land belongs to for real so you got to get a lawyer and you got to run your title and uh your your checks and all that stuff so um that was a bit of a process but i was like before i buy the land let me at least get myself established and get my house or whatever 
So, um, he's mad because I didn't pick none of his places, but they was way too expensive for what I was getting. So that's why I didn't choose none of his. So I'm gonna run that clip. It's a very beautiful task, quality task here, as you can see. So after you enter the main gate, this is what you see first. You see, there's a, a parking lot here. You can see there's a very nice, beautiful green grass just designed to seal the place of this beautiful house. So this one parking lot and you can park as many like three or four cars here in this beautiful house here i'm showing you so before i will take you into the house itself this is the this is what i'm talking about you have a very beautiful pool here in this house so just have a feel of how the pool look like and guess what being in your house with the comfort of your pool you have a very beautiful view like this all right so six feet to three feet okay so as you can see the houses that he sent me was way too overpriced and um if y'all want to reach out to him fable tv and try to get a house from him that's on y'all you know um, i'm just showing you what he sent me and if you looking to repatriate and you want to find your place then contact him and see if you can get um a place from him but it just wasn't suitable for me okay so the next one was um eric realties and um i reached out to eric off of instagram and told him that i wanted a place or whatever and what I wanted, what I was looking forward to. He was sending me this, 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 this. And I was like, okay, that ain't gonna work. It's too much. It's too expensive. Um, I think I jacked up the prices. And um, he told me when I, when, when I called him, when I got here, and I told him I was here. But when I got here to Accra, I didn't have a vehicle at first. I was doing Uber for the first two days. And then when I finally did rent a truck, the truck, the, the truck that I rented was like the 130 a day truck that I rented. You're not allowed to take that outside of Accra. So I had to stay in Accra in the Timber area. And I wanted to stay in the Timber area anyway because that's where my container was supposed to be coming. So I, I wanted to be here when my container came. So um, as far as that's concerned, I told him I couldn't come to Cape Coast right now, but I was going to come until I found out that I couldn't take the truck outside of Accra. So I was kind of like stuck, you know, so I didn't go to Kumasi like I wanted to. I didn't go to Cape Coast like I wanted to. So I told him I wasn't going to be able to go. He got mad at me and, um, you know, really was talking some smack to me about it and saying that he went looking for all these houses and now I'm saying I don't want it. It's not that I didn't want it. I just could not come and see them because I was too far. So the distance between Accra and Cape Coast is five hours. That's like the distance from Atlanta to South Carolina, Myrtle Beach. And I couldn't drive that with these people. And then I asked the people about um, how do they know if you take the the truck outside of a car and they said they got a tracking device on it so um i had to get a local to even put the car in his name for me because i could i don't i didn't have a um gun a driver's license at the time so i couldn't put it in my own name so that was a whole never monster um and then everybody was saying that um Oh, you, you should have got assistant and all that. I have a couple of people out here and I had assistant as well with me that was showing me the ropes and it came and got me from the airport and showing me around and stuff like that. So um, people come up with their own conclusions and come up with their own observations off of a short clip and go on me and tell me I ain't do enough research or I ain't do this, that, and the third. You can never do enough research. Because reality is reality. So once you hit the ground and you see stuff for what it is. I've heard so many people say that they had family, they had friends out here. And then when they come out here, it's a whole totally different ball game. Those family and friends ain't there for them when they come. So then they, be, they end up being on their own. So um, 
I'm going to go ahead and run this clip and show y'all um, what was sent to me. It's three bedroom, three bedroom, two apartments in the same compound. But currently, the white one has been taken. It's the same style. Uh, it has left with this one. This three bedroom here. So I just want you to have a view of the compound and the environment. How very big compound. Quiet and serene. Which can contain like four, five cars to park here. So you can see this very one is left and within a week or two someone might take so if you want it let me hear from you as soon as you watch this video so stay tuned as i show you inside it's three bedroom with a very big hall big kitchen storeroom look at how the back view look like it's a new building nobody has stayed inside so those of you who want eric i want three bedroom i want four bedroom this is a very beautiful house here a place called a for estate here in cape coast so stay tuned let me show you inside peace um this is the sitting room okay sitting room and then the dining room then there's another room here oh. uh -huh. then the kitchen okay there's another room there's another room then this is the kitchen yeah and then there's a there's a room here so this is it uh -huh. i think this one has no and then um, the washroom for the uh, the class, the master bedroom are here. Oh, the place is very yeah. So I think the master bedroom. I know the dark room. Okay. Uh, this room has its own shade. I'm I'm sure. I'm sure that's right. Yeah. An outside washroom. Instead of uh, it's a, a old. Another room is in here. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure. Mm. Yeah. And this room owns it. One cost room is there. Mm. Um, the, this room. Mm. Uh, so, what kind of head? So, oh, no. Oh, no, something was on four. Okay, uh, four. So, um, I think so. Okay, so as y'all can see in the video, um, those houses was way too overpriced. And um, I just couldn't go out to that area to look for anything because of the transportation issue. So, the other thing was a lot of people were saying that um, it should be no reason why I'm paying a hundred dollars a night to stay in an Airbnb when Airbnb is thirty to forty dollars. I reached out to several people on Airbnb and asked them was their house available. No, no response. And most people, um, most people was didn't even respond to me. But I got two people who came back and they said it wasn't available that I should call somebody else or go look for another Airbnb so I got no luck with Airbnb the only reason why I was able to find the Airbnb that we was at with the lizards was because the guy who uh, we rented the car from knew somebody around his neighborhood that do Airbnb and he called him so the guy could have said that it was a hundred dollars when it wasn't but at the time we needed someone to stay and um I wouldn't want my kids to be homeless in no foreign countries or, or homeless at all. So I was like, okay, I'll take it because I needed somewhere to stay at the time. When we first got here, I booked the hotel when I was at home back in America. And when I got here, the hotel didn't look like it looked on TV, I mean, on the um, computer. And that hotel was $90 a night. So I'm going to run that clip too so y'all can see.
got the food and the rhythm and the sun and the culture. Just remember where you're from. Just remember where you're from. We got the food and the rhythm and the sun and the culture. Just remember where you're from. Just remember where you're from. Make Africa home again. Africa, Africa home again, baby. Make Africa home again. Africa, Africa home again, baby. Africa home again. Africa, Africa, Africa home again, baby. Africa home again. Africa, Africa, Africa home again, baby. See, I went natural. I let my naps grow. I got an afro, became a black pro. They tried to say that my black was a natural. Hell no. We all came from a black hole. The motherland that I fear needs to come home. The fact is that we all made a black hole. Anybody saying differently does not know black soul, black holes that support black own. Yeah. Africa, America's backbone. If we take our spine back, where will you go? For your oils and your gold and your new phones. 80% of Colton from Congo. And I know they make our maps look small, low. Africa be bigger than what they show. I know they make our maps look small, low. 80% of Colton from Congo. Let's go. Make Africa home again. Africa, Africa home again, baby. Make Africa home again. Africa, Africa home again, baby. Africa home again. Africa, Africa, Africa home again, baby. Africa home again. Africa, Africa, Africa home again, baby. Yeah, we got the food and the rhythm and the sun and the culture. Just remember where you're from. Just remember where you. We got the food and the rhythm and the sun. Make Africa home again, Africa, Africa home again, baby. Make Africa home again, Africa, Africa home again, baby. Africa home again, Africa, Africa, Africa home again, baby. Africa home again, Africa, Africa, Africa home again, baby. See, I went natural, I let my naps grow. I got an afro, became a black pro. They tried to say that my black was a natural. Hell no, we all came from a black hole. The motherland that I fear needs to come home. The fact is that we all made a black hole. Anybody saying differently does not know black soul, black holes that support black own. Yeah, Africa, America's backbone. If we take our spine back, where will you go? For your oils and your gold and your new phones. 80% of Colton from Congo. And I know they make our maps look small, low. Africa be bigger than what they show. I know they make our maps look small, low. 80% of Colton from Congo. Make Africa home. Home again, Africa, Africa, home again, baby. Make Africa home again, Africa, Africa, home again, baby. Africa home again, Africa, 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 home again, baby. Africa home again, Africa, 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 home again, baby. Be like say I dey go, I dey go. If you look my face, you for no. Yes sir, I dey go to the motherland. Motherland. Come that be the place I get the upper hand. And they ready be by your best shit will be be memo You can never tell another black man what he can't do What he can't do and tell me nothing Cause I'm never coming back to the place that they go We never go the lack Keep on fighting Freedom fighter Kelly beloved put up your lighter Okay guys so as you can see There it is There it is for you So um all these YouTubers that's exposing me, that's talking about me on my page and saying all this, that, and the third. It it, it was not intentionally set forth to not take your 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 situation, like not take your houses or whatever. Not that I think I'm better than anybody. It just was something that didn't suit me. But I, I know that I'm gonna still have back special. I'm gonna still have people saying, "Oh well, you should have took it anyway because you ain't had nowhere to stay." Or this, that, and the third. But just put yourself in my shoes. And if you had four kids that you was bringing from America and you was taken to a foreign country, would you have gone straight into a house like that or um, that you saw world sent me? Or would you have uh, bought a house that was way overpriced just to say you have a house in Africa? I'll be waiting for your comments down below.